Welcome in to After the Whistle. I'm your host, Luke Gamble. We've got a jam-packed show for you tonight featuring a lot of hoops action as we sit on the edge of postseason time with tournaments cracking up in just under a few weeks and state tournaments less than two months away. Tonight, we'll talk about some record-breaking performances on the hardwood. We'll visit with a team that's maybe some, surprised some people in the state this year and we'll relive one of the biggest shots so far of the season. But first, we're talking about family and basketball, and a combination that means more than anything. There's a fine line on the basketball court between a coach and a referee, two distinctly different positions that require respect and admiration for each other. And those roles couldn't be any clearer for the Cadis family, a group devoted to the game of basketball and their roles on the court. Special moments happen in sports all the time but few compared to those shared by family. To be able to be on the court with your daughters is pretty special. You know, there's a lot of people who get a coach their daughters, but not a lot of people get a coach against your daughters or officiate your daughters. This week, the Cadis family got to experience both of those things at once. Scott Cadis as head referee, his wife Heather as the Lemon Girls basketball coach. Let's have a great game. Ready, call girls? And his daughter JC on the opposite bench as the Bowman County coach. One of the coolest experiences I'm probably going to have coaching and the fact that we can have our family in the stands watching it too and they get to experience it. We can talk about this in 10 years, you know. Remember that game that mom and grandma coached against each other and then we had grandpa on the floor refing. Heather and JC's teams have clashed on the court a few times. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm so pumped for this game. Scott has refereed each of their games individually, but it's the first time in his 25-year career that he shared the sidelines with both of them. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, good luck. That doesn't mean there's not a clear line when it comes to knowing each other's roles. We don't talk about it, because when we step on the court, I'm the official and they're the coach, and, and that's how we are addressed. So um, it's, we separate the two, and afterwards we'll all go out for uh, supper and uh, we're a family again, regardless of the uh, outcome of the, the game. The lines are defined, but in a way only the Cadis family would have it. He's not only my husband, he's probably one of the best officials I've seen. If I'm going to have anybody ref my games, I don't mind having him because on the court, he's an official, I'm a coach, and when you walk out the door, it's husband and wife. During this game between the Cowgirls and the Bulldogs, there's no love lost. I'm kind of a smack talker. I get into it. But afterwards, it's just another night for this basketball crazed family. Even after, you know, we'll talk about it. Like, what did we both do well? What did we not do well? The bond of basketball is something the Cadis family will always share. And now, their book of memories has a special new chapter. It's a good respect for each other and respect for her dad and my husband. And once we walk out of here, um, we're just a family that got to experience something that not many people get to. Well, JC's Bowman County Bulldogs got the best of Heather's Cowgirls in this matchup, winning 54 31 on the road. But in the end, this game meant a lot more than what the scoreboard had to show.